with Kathy Cano Mario, and she has me stirring some resin together. It's a two-part resin, right? So that yes. we're going to be able to do it. And we're going to make some Day of the Dead. And if we look over at the ofrenda, you have over there with the fantastic little the tissue flags. And yes, the papel picado using tissue paper. Tissue paper is so versatile. But you know what? We're used to it being so thin and soft. I'm going to show you how to coat it with resin to make it nice and sturdy so we can use a, make, use it to make a cool little shrine for Day of the Dead. I'm excited. So how do we start? Okay, I see you so, have a protected surface. Yes, I have a protective surface, surface and I have this lined with wax paper. And this is really important because the resin, as it cures, it will not stick to the wax paper. Okay. And that way it will come off nice and easy. So now let's go ahead and pour this. And I'm just going to... Ooh, you're pouring pour that whole out, cup out. The whole cup. And just a quick thing about resin is obviously you're using a cup and a popsicle stick that you're going to throw away. This is not getting cleaned in any way. Right. You want to use something disposable. Yes. And we're just going to set that aside. And I'm just going to spread this with my popsicle stick. This makes me feel stick. like baking, like making candy know, on a sheet or like, spreading frosting like, out or does, something like, like that. It looks like candy. Okay, so what we're going to do is take, I'm going to show you two methods. The first okay. way is to take your tissue design, and this is actually a die cut. So you actually just took a die, uh, yep. ran it through your die cut machine, With the tissue, and cut uh -huh. this out of tissue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create some shavings with my oil pastels. And these are also just so bright and vibrant that I thought they would look really, really pretty mixed into the resin because you know what for this one I'm not going to put anything in it except for the shavings. And this is looking like confetti to me. It's yes, a great idea. Again fitting with like a fiesta type of theme. So I'm just going to do a whole bunch of different colors like that. We're going to let this set and then this is the magic that happens. Look, once it's cured, I can pull this right off of the wax paper. So cool. Yes, so it's, it just comes off nice and easy. And then it's just a matter of trimming the excess. So this is something that a lot of people probably don't realize. You can cut resin with a pair of scissors. Yes, after, I usually wait um, like the right after it's cured so it's soft. This is tissue paper that I just pulled, I just poured. Oh, I thought you had dyed it, but you're saying no, it's, it's just, just it's a tissue square paper. of tissue paper right. as opposed to something that had been pre-cut out. And now I can run this through my die cut machine. The same with this, once it's cured, Look what it looks like. It is Isn't the coolest. That awesome? And I have to tell you, that is so thick, I was I thought it was acrylic. It, and I didn't know how yeah, you had gotten that in there. It turns into acrylic. It looks like I just ran it through my die cut, um, you know, maybe like three or four times to get a nice clean cut. And the extras, look, now I have these. And it looks so pretty oh, with yeah, the oil the pastel eyes, shades. I was uh -huh. going to say, of and course. And the little banner that goes in there. And this one is a little frame that you could use on top of your paper. Mm -hmm. and, and just so if people are wondering, the ones that, the difference between the two different methods that you have here, if I, I know you can't quite reach there, mm -hmm. but if we just look at them side by side, this one, obviously the eyes and the banner area and everything else is filled. Whereas with this one, those areas are empty, which is why you right. have these extras. So it's not nice a right or a wrong, it's yeah, what it's you like. it's whatever look you want to achieve with it. Exactly. It's so versatile. And so then I'm going to let you come oh, over here okay. with all this fun So this is the fun stuff. part. I just took a wood block again with my oil pastel. I would pastels. like to point out how smart you are because wood panel canvases at the art store are incredibly expensive but what you've you've just Yes. Done taking a, yes. piece, of wood, a piece of wood, which is a much more inexpensive way to <laughs> essentially get a wood canvas. Yes. And I mean the the guys at the lumber place are so nice. They'll just cut it to shape for you. I oh, have they will? Yeah, yeah. They, there's like a, a small charge for whatever mm -hmm. amount of cuts you have. Or empower yourself, get some power tools, do it at home. And now I'm just going to blend this like this with the towel just to give Keeping it some Keeping your finger groove. nice and clean. Yes. And you could do all different types of colors. I like to outline it in black mm -hmm. just to make it, give it a little you, bit of do pop. Do you use an oil pastel for that outlining as yes, well? Yes, I do. 
I always love fine. I mean, it depends on your personal taste, but you could draw patterns. Yes. You could do all sorts of fun stuff. You could get really detailed. You could detailed. do script. You could do a transfer, yeah. a photo and, like, transfer. And wood panels are so nice, particularly for collage, because mm -hmm. they're nice and solid and hard, unlike a traditional soft canvas. Uh -huh. So they're perfect if you wanted to add little collage bits to the end or anything like that. Now, you've just put some foam adhesive yes, onto the back of your skull. Yes, I just used these little skull. dimensional dots, and I'm going to put and that wait a there. Second. Was this tissue paper, really? This was scrap of paper. This one I just oh. used scrap of paper. So here wait is Wait a second, my, you could use fabric then? You could use fabric, you could use anything. So what I do is I look at everything I have, I gather all my scraps, and a neat thing with this is you could do a background. This is another dye background. You could do this with tissue paper and then put the scrapbook paper one on top of it. You could see how cute this would look you know, to oh, go yeah, with, with that. The pink behind it. And then this is one of my favorite parts is you can decorate the canvas with whatever little objects that you have. And we have the little banner here. You could use some little words. You know what I like is you're taking all the inside parts yes. and adding them so that I nothing everything. is wasted. Like these little green hearts that were cut out, I can glue those in the center like that. Super cute. And what's really nice is you can have this displayed in your house for Dia de los Muertos to celebrate. You could give it as a, for you could give it to a friend in honor of a loved one. You could put the name of your loved one who passed away on it with a little setting with all the things that they love to do when they were alive. And it's just a fun way to celebrate Day of the Dead and also get crafty. Yeah, and I like how, of course, you can add in text if you want. Mm -hmm. So share, because I, we're sharing some art. Yes, good idea. Mm -hmm. And I also like to use these paint pens, mm -hmm. too, just to add different types of... Will you show us a little bit of paint penning? Yes, so I love using paint pen on the resin because it's permanent. Wait a second, you can use a paint pen on resin? Yes, after it's cured, you can use your paint pen never, on there. Oh, but of course, because it's like plastic or... Right. I get it, okay. I was having a moment where I was like, um, that's not going to work. And people are going to see. <laughs> Look, <laughs> because it, be, it just awesome. becomes like a non-porous hard mm -hmm. surface that's that so you can cool. And you add just more detail, more doodles. You could even like draw some of the flowers from yes. there or anything you like that. You just carry it through. This is a great idea. And I can see so many different ways they could do it. You could turn it into jewelry because now you can hard paper. Yes. Oh my gosh. Patty, my <laughs> mind is blown.